Russia has called a special session of the UN Security Council today to discuss the volatility in the Persian Gulf and what can be done to stop the potential escalation of any more possible violence or even a war. RT correspondent John Huddy is joining us from the Miami studio with more on this. So John, what was discussed in today's meeting? Well, first of all, this was a uh, virtual meeting that was led by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov discussing, uh, as you mentioned, the situation in the Persian Gulf, particularly the escalation of tension between Iran and various Gulf countries, with Security Council ministers agreeing that more needs to be done to head off a potential escalation of violence or, as you just said, Manila, even the possibility of war. In a sign of the times, the U.N. Security Council met virtually today with nation representatives speaking by video. The meeting was called by Russia, with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov moderating the discussion, some initial technical glitches aside. Among those in attendance included U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres and Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, who, like other foreign ministers, encouraged the continuation of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA. President Trump pulled the U.S. out of the agreement in 2018. China's foreign minister encouraged the upholding of the JCPOA, along with other measures to ensure a de-escalation of violence and more constructive dialogue to head off any potential violence or problems in the Persian Gulf region. The Gulf region belongs to the Gulf states. And the local people are the true masters of the region. On family matters of the Gulf states, Non-regional countries may offer constructive help, but should not overstep, still less maneuver for selfish gains. Easier said than done, the Trump administration continues to take a tough approach to Iran, saying Iran represents the greatest threat to peace in the Middle East and continues to violate the JCPOA, a message repeated by U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Kelly Kraft, during the Security Council meeting. The recent signing of the Abraham Accords between Israel, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates arguably further isolates the Islamic Republic, or according to Ambassador Kraft, brings the region closer to peace and an agreement between the Israelis and Palestinians closer to fruition. What will happen after November 3rd remains a major question that, while not addressed in today's Security Council virtual session, was likely on the minds of the ministers in attendance. If President Trump is re-elected, it's unlikely the United States will rejoin the JCPOA. If Democratic candidate Joe Biden wins, it's entirely possible he could renew the work done by his former boss, President Obama, and former Secretary of State John Kerry. Unfortunately, though, it's unlikely this question will be addressed in Thursday's upcoming second and final presidential debate. One thing is certain, the election will have both domestic and foreign policy ramifications for many years to come. For RT, John Huddy.